Just a few bad sunbirds can lead to skin cancer. Sunscreens protect you, but not if they're too old. In this original report, CBS 2's Dorothy Tucker found a lot of expired sunscreen on the beach and in stores. Under the blazing sun, Ginny Diamond slathers on protection, or at least that's what she thinks. When did it expire? Hard to see, but the date it was made is embossed on the crimped part on the back of the tube. Well, it says it was made in 2014. In April, three years ago. So Manufacturers say that's too old. Yeah, I didn't realize it was expired. <laughs> She's not alone. 2000 what? 13. Expired? Yeah. Why are you still using something that's been expired? But I thought it was still good. Expired sunscreen is not good. In July, we went shopping and at five drug and discount stores found 12 expired sunscreens. Seven of those at two CVS stores. Among the dozen, three expired kids' sunscreens, including two at Target, dating back to June of 2015. That's really surprising. Dr. Pradram Garami is director of Northwestern's Melanoma Clinic and says expired sunscreen may not provide the promised protection. You have a risk of getting sun damage, burns, and high Higher risk of skin cancer. I didn't even know Megan Arndt was equally shocked when we showed her the kids' sunscreen that expired more than two years ago. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So the stores obviously don't check to see if their what's in stock is still good. It can also be difficult to figure out when some products expire. Do you know what this is? No. What is that? It's the manufacturer's code indicating when the sunscreen was made. For example, on banana boat products, the code is on the bottom of the can. The first two numbers indicate the year. The next three, the day of the year. In this case, the 232nd day of 2015. Translation, August 20th, 2015. The FDA advises tossing sunscreens older than three years, maybe even sooner if they're improperly stored. And I've traveled and left it in the car and... It's not good anymore. So Hal Murad is a chemical engineer who explains why sunscreens lose potency if left in a hot car where temperatures can reach 120. They start becoming reactive, decompose, and that basically makes them ineffective. Well, now I know I won't leave it in my car any longer. Dorothy Tucker, CBS2 News. CVS and Target said their policies are to remove products from store shelves before they expire and added that any deviations brought to the store's attention will be corrected. Walgreens and Big Lots told us they have procedures in place to routinely check expiration dates.